Hey guys, my name is Cameron and you're watching The Nomadic Nautilus. In this video, I could open a sailboat and find some bees. How's it going guys? We are going to be doing a bee removal today. So we are out on Pine Island Botanicals Garden out in Pine Island, Florida. And there is a beehive established itself apparently for a while now in a sailboat and we're going to be going and checking it out. Um, I'll get back to you guys on how this goes. We'll keep some footage going and uh, hopefully we'll learn a few things today. If not, we've got a box ready if we can remove them. If not, we're just inspecting, trying to figure out what to do and make a plan. So, all right guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome to the forest that this farm is currently on. As you can tell, I've got my suit on. I'm grabbing the ladder. All right, got ladder in hand and suit fully closed up and a hard hat on to keep those mask out of my face. No, I just got the ladder. Because we got we got grapevine we got grapevine in our way. Entrance to the hive is gonna be right up. No, Michael said he focus. That ladder over here. I can grab it. There we go, good shot. Here in the front. They are? Yep. So we're down by the hatch, there's nothing going on, and then we got that vent there. They weren't coming in and out of it. Puffing some smoke into the hole. I look like a mess right now. And there's nowhere else on the boat that they're active, so they just gotta be up there. Really? Yeah, Michael's told me before that he didn't mind that happening. Okay. He wasn't worried about salvaging the boat. So let me go. Um, I'll go get the sawzall and I'll get the pine. I'll get those pine needles. I had just an immediate pine. reaction of them going back inside. Here's the pruners. They don't appear to be particularly aggressive. Well, I was right now. Aggressive. I've had aggressive breeze and they'll be all over your face mask. I was going to say by now they would have been all over us if they were being Okay guys, here you can see that the uh, gentleman we're working with who preferred to remain anonymous is cutting into the boat and I totally had audio, we were talking and telling you guys information but I did not realize that my external microphone had become uh, disconnected from the camera. So we did lose the audio but um, it was basically describing what was happening and so you can guys can easily see that. And uh, after this I realized the microphone wasn't working so we uh, plugged that back in and we're good to go. Here, uh, the gentleman realizes that there's some fresh and capped honeycomb just on the right side of where we cut the hole. He starts peeling a little bit of that out just to see what's behind it to see how far back the hive goes into the boat. Um, and currently, Christine, who's part of that farm that we were at, um, is rubber banding that capped honeycomb that we were pulling out into a new bee box. Taking a closer look into the hive, you see there's some capped brood, which is where all the eggs are while they turn into larvae and then eventually become bees. Later on, uh, we just go ahead and put on the piece of the boat back because we realize we're not ready to cut into the other side of the boat yet, so that is going to wait for another day. Well, my mic hasn't been plugged in for a while, that's interesting. Other way, other way, Peter. Oh, sure. Let's see first taste is neon yellow. It's probably pepper. Oh man, that is amazing. <laughs> that is so much better than you get at like a superstore bottle jar of honey. Look at that. Look at that. More than anything, I mean, if you get a swarm, that would be very lucky. Hey, uh, 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 
temperature gauge on it, uh -huh. and it's got a little container, and you take and you put the oxalic acid in this container, put it upside down, snap it on, put it in a hole at the bottom of the hive, and then you turn it over, and just tap it, and that stuff falls into the heater, and then, and then you just watch the temperature, and as the temperature, it'll drop precipitously because it's evaporating, and then eventually the temperature will build back up to 230 degrees. Once it gets to 230, you know you're done, and you just go to the next hive and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. we'll just check it on YouTube. It's called OxyVape. So that went pretty well. We just only got some honey out of there and boxed it up in the frame, and then only got stung one time. One time. Um, but we boxed it up in the frame, and then we got um, a little bit of the lemongrass essential oils in there, which will track the hive, and I doubt they're going to move because they still got a home set up. They just got some honey robbed from them. Hello chicken, I hear you. Um, but we might need to come back later and we'll get a queen trap or we'll cut the whole thing open and uh, take our time and be very careful to find the queen and we'll move them all over the box. Take them a little bit away so they can't find their home and I'll move out and we'll bring it back. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for watching the Nomadic Nautilus. Thank you guys for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, leaving a comment down below. If you, wanna, if you feel like doing any of those things, I be very appreciative of it if you really want to talk to me or you have a question about what I did this video or anything like that I'll get back to you in the comments if you leave one and then uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll uh, see you later oh my god all right how's it going guys <laughs>